Jitex 2014 and we're here in Hall 6 on the uh, Gemalto stand and I'm very pleased to be joined by Frederic Martinot uh, from uh, Gemalto. Welcome to Jitex TV. Hello, good morning. Uh, your first time uh, here at Jitex, we'll come on to that in a little while, but let's talk about the rise of mobility. I mean, everyone is smartphones to the hilt at the moment and it's producing a lot of big data. Uh, what are the new marketing channels though that marketeers and brands can exert some leverage on with that? Yes, mobile has definitely become the first screen. Actually, people are spending 2.5 times more on their mobile rather than watching TV. And for instance, in uh, Saudi Arabia, people are spending an average of 240 minutes per day on the mobile, whereas they are watching TV only for 100 minutes per day. So really, uh, mobile has become the first screen. And uh, when it comes to uh, reaching out to people on the mobile, messaging is still the number one channel. And for instance, you know that 81% uh, of people are keeping their mobile always with them, 24-7. And uh, even they go to bed literally with their mobile because they use their mobile as the alarm clock, actually. Uh, and when they receive a SMS, they read it within five seconds, which is a very short time if you compare that to email, where you can maybe read it within 24 hours only. So mobile phones, I mean, you say that people are taking them to bed as the alarm clock. They're sleeping with them, they're waking up with them. They're a very personal device. How does the end user perceive the fact of receiving those marketing messages and the contents on their phone? Yes, you're right. Mobile phone is a very personal device, actually. And uh, you don't want to get spam. You don't want to receive messages from companies and brands you haven't given your opt-in before. So we have conducted a survey, a consumer survey, in many different countries with the IFOP, the research institute, and in all the countries the answer was the same. When it comes to mobile marketing, permission is the number one concern. And here in Middle East Africa, people are particularly eager to receive marketing messages on their mobile, and they are ready to receive up to three messages per week. And if you compare that to other regions like Europe or the US, people are limited to maybe three per month. So that's why I'm saying that uh, mobile marketing in, in this region, Middle East Africa, is uh, really interesting. So what's the most important factors to make sure you succeed in those campaigns that you're putting out in this region? So for me, the most important factor is to send relevant messages. I mean, messages that are interesting, useful for the consumers. And in order to do so, you can leverage all the data you have about the consumers and transform them into a business value thanks to analytics. So for instance, you can score your consumers and identify which products and services they are the more likely to be interested in. Also, uh, you can identify some upsell or cross-sell opportunities based on their purchase history. And now I can tell you about one analytics study we have done for one of our customers recently. And the idea was to identify when is the best time slot to send these marketing messages in order to maximize the acceptance rate. And what we found out is that the best day in the week are the Tuesdays and the Wednesdays. And the best time in a day are at around 10 a.m. or after 7 p.m. if you want to maximize the acceptance rate. So really, using data can really improve the relevancy of these messages. And Gemalto's position in that mobile marketing, what's your value proposition to the operators and of course the brands as well? Yeah, so Gemalto is working closely to uh, most of the biggest operators, the biggest banks, the biggest uh, brands in the world. And by listening to them, we have identified that they all face the same challenge. That is to say, how can we reinvent the consumer relationship in the digital age, in a world where consumers are no longer interested in uh, receiving advertising messages pushed to them. They are more than ever empowered to drive the conversation with the brands they choose and on their own term. So we have developed our value proposition in the mobile marketing to help big actors like big operators, banks, brands and retailers to enhance their consumer relationship over the mobile and monetize their consumer database along the way. And to do so, we have introduced a unique channel, a new mobile marketing channel that is called the Smart Message. And, and that end user experience, what are the benefits for the end user with that process? So the first difference if you compare the smart message with a regular SMS is the fact that it is a pop-up message on your idle screen. So you don't have to go in your messaging app and your, S your message is not lost within hundreds of uh, SMS. And then it's there on your other screen and you can very easily interact with it. 
with a regular SMS, you have to go back to your messaging app, maybe remember a short code, send the answer, it takes several clicks. Here, the smart message is there on the yellow screen and you can very easily interact with it, answer questions, interact and so on. And if you want to drive more deeper conversation, it's also possible, you can have a several screen and really it's uh, much more engaging than uh, regular SMS. And the benefits for the mobile operators and the brands as well with that smart messaging? So the first benefit is the fact that it can reach to any kind of uh, devices. It's not restricted to smartphone. It can reach a uh, feature phone or even very low end phone. And it doesn't require the consumer to download a specific app. So you can really engage with all of your consumer base. And then the second benefit in terms of more in business is that as it is much more easier to engage with the smart message, we experience very high acceptance rate. If you compare the acceptance rate of a smart message campaign to the acceptance rate of a regular SMS campaign, usually we get a factor two to 10 times higher acceptance rate. So really, the return on investment for the brand is very obvious. Now, every year, every six months, I guess, in technology, we have a new trend, a new word that people are talking about. And one of those, of course, is contextualized marketing. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what it is exactly? Yes, contextual marketing is really a topic at the moment. It's really this idea to send the right message to the right people at the right moment. And for instance, we have helped a mobile operator to improve the sales of one of their products. In that case, it was a data roaming package. So initially, this uh, product was mainly advertised with traditional methods, like they were putting billboards in some airports, and the success was not very uh, high. And we helped them to introduce some contextual marketing approach. So as a consumer, when I arrive in a new country, I will receive a welcome message, but it's not a classical SMS. Actually, it's a smart message. So I can very easily engage with this smart message and buy a data roaming package. So I can choose the duration of the package, there is a price, one click, and it's done. It's purchased and activated. So really, um, after introducing this, after several months, we have seen a drastic increase of uh, the sales for this uh, data roaming package with a factor 80, 80. So really contextual marketing is different in each case, but if you can identify when your customers need your product and if you can make it very easy for them to buy it, really you can make a difference in terms of uh, revenues. And when we look towards the Middle East, of course, uh, that says prime for that sort of contextual marketing, isn't it? A real growth area for Jamalta. Yes, definitely. So uh, Middle East is really interesting area for the mobile marketing. Consumers are already mobile. For instance, 60% uh, of people here in Dubai are ready to receive marketing messages on their mobile. So they are really willing to receive these messages. Also, the ecosystem is quite mature. We have identified all the best practices to send relevant messages to the right people at the right moment. And if you think about the growing adoption of smartphones and the ramp up of mobile payment initiative, you can really see that uh, mobile marketing in this region is only getting started. We'll see many more different developments of mobile marketing in Middle East Africa. Uh, Frederic, thank you for your time. Thank you for your insight into the business of Jamalto. It's been great to meet you. Thank you very much.